Hi, uh, this is Nivet Kantasamy. So my paper is about effects of interference on beam forming enabled vehicular networks in multipath propagation environments. And my advisors are Professor Alexander Wiglinski and Professor Raghavendra Kavadi. Yeah, next slide. So I'm going to talk about the introduction, the beam forming preparations and channel model, the state estimation model, which I have used for calculating my results and the performance characteristics, and finally the conversions. Uh, next slide. So yeah, this paper, what we did is like we characterized the impact of interference on vehicular communications, employing beamforming link between the transmitters and operators within a multi-part propagation environment. So we have considered two different road scenarios, like a straight road scenario and inter intersection uh, straight road intersection scenario and a roundabout scenario to determine performance characteristics of the vehicle communication link. So what we did was by employing the results for discrete antenna array elements and by varying the distance, we analyzed the better rate of the vehicles operating in a multi-path propagation environment with an interference source within the vicinity. And here, this figure, it actually illustrates a straight road intersection scenario where two vehicles are performing beam forming in the direction of each other to minimize the interference of the other vehicle commun other wireless communications in the area. Here we can see that I have an interference source which is actually located 20 degrees off the transmitter bore side and it's actually separated from the transmitter at a distance of 50 meters. Ah, look at the next slide. Um, yeah, so what, what I did was here in this paper, I assumed a moving receiver. The transmitter is frequently updated with the estimated locations of the receiver for each time instant, resulting in the bore side pointing in the direction uh, in which it has to be pointed. So this assumption, it actually mitigates the delay caused by the beam scanning to detect the location of the intending receiver. And and the effect of interference in a multipath environment. So this the effect of this source is actually evaluated by varying the number of antenna array elements. Here in our case, L represents the number of antenna array elements in this expression and the distance between the transmitter and receiver, which is D. So by using the estimated location of the receiver obtained from the proposed state, state, state estimation algorithm, the bit error rate is determined. And here, uh, yeah, in this, uh, with end reflections, the receive signal is actually given by this expression, where y, where y of t is the signal of each antenna array element, and ai is the steering vector of the phase delays affecting the signal in each antenna array element. Yeah, next slide. Uh, yeah, we address in this paper situations involving two cars, which is actually an ego vehicle and the other vehicle. The proposed estimation, this model, we actually spoke about this model in our previous paper, where it considers two vehicles, the ego vehicle and the other vehicle. And using, using this model, we are able to get the measured estimates and the, estima and the estimated location of the receiver, which tells us where my receiver is going to be the next, at the next time instant. So the true bore sight angle, which uh, namely the inclination of the line of sight of the ego vehicle to the other vehicle. The true location of the uh, the true location of my receiver vehicle is given by this expression, and um, the estimated location of my uh, of of my receiver is given by the uh, expression alpha estimate is equal to tan inverse, which is the expression six. Uh, yeah, next slide. Okay, so. This, uh, this, since we consider two different scenarios, this scenario, this figure actually illustrates a roundabout scenario. Here, the green car and the blue car are the transmitter and the receivers ex, uh, respectively, whereas the yellow vehicle is an interference source. So here we are considering the same situation where an interferer is actually located 20 degrees of the transmitter both side with the distance between the transmitter and the interferer going to be 10 meters. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, this, uh, th in this slide, this actually shows the effect of an established communi uh, communication link 
due to an interference surge moving in the opposite direction of the traffic flow. Uh, so both the ego vehicle and the other vehicle, in our case, the receiver, it's assumed to be moving at a constant speed with the distance separated up to 50 meters. So the BER increases due to the signal interference from the interference source. As the interference moves farther from the established length, the BER decreases. And also for L is equal to 16 antenna array elements, the communication is more stronger when compared with L is equal to 4 because of a wider beam angle. Uh, next slide. Uh, yeah, so here, uh, yeah, this, this actually shows the BER plot with respect to the distance between the transmitter and the receiver for a straight road scenario. Uh, the transmitter vehicle is assumed to be stationary, whereas the receiver is in motion with an interference source present. So if an interference source is, uh, is placed 50 meters away from the transmitter, for L is equal to four, we can almost see that 50 percentage of the beds are corrected. And the BER is high when the receiver is 600 meters away. But as the distance increases, the BER gradually becomes slow, indicating a weaker link. So for some cases, uh, if the transmitter gets updated with the estimated location of the receiver, the BER actually increases. So for L is equal to eight, we can see that the BER is high for the measured error value of the location. Uh, of the receiver indicating a poor communication link with larger number of bits being corrected. But when the receiver is actually 350 meters away from the transmitter, or as the distance increases above 350, the communication link, it becomes stronger due to the transmitter steering its main beam towards the predicted estimation of the location of the receiver. Uh, next slide. Okay, so this is for a roundabout scenario where the interferer is assumed to be located 10 meters away from the transmitter, steered at an angle of 20 degrees of the transmitter both sides. The interferer source has a power of 0 0.001 watt and a gain of minus 20 dB. That's what we have considered for this simulated model. So the receiver's location and the beam angle is varied as it changes for every time instant. When the receiver, is, when it's close to the transmitter, even though the link is uh, even though there's a perfect link, the signal is corrupted since the interference source contributes to the intercepted signal, causing the BER to be very high. But when the receiver is near the transmitter, the BER decreases, but as the distance increases, the established link is not strong, leading to the message being corrupted. But with the estimated location, the communication it improves, leading to a lower number of bits getting corrupted. And since it's a roundabout, the geometry of the road is designed in such a way that the receiver moves farther from the transmitter and again comes closer to it. Uh, yeah, and yeah, the conclusion is finally, in this paper, what we did is like we examined the effect of a vehicular communication interference on the delivery of better arrays in vehicular networks. We have analyzed the performance characteristics for different road scenarios, the straight road intersection scenario and for the roundabout scenario. And the performance characteristics illustrates that by making use of the proposed state estimation algorithm that we made use in our previous paper, uh, we obtained the results. And it can be seen that the delay is minimized as the beam is pointed towards the desired direction. Um, thank you.